uh, John DeGory, and he is the uh, president and CEO of the Knowledge Center, and uh, they develop software and applications for first responders. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the mic over to John and let him uh, describe uh, their system uh, that I think you'll find very interesting. Oh, thank you very much and appreciate the opportunity. So we develop uh, emergency management, incident management software. Uh, our products are daily use type tools and we have a comprehensive solution that allows you to not only manage the incidents and the planned events, but we also allow you to manage your critical infrastructure resources and we have a communication capability that we have built into the product. At the highest level, I always like to describe our products as a collaboration tool, a management tool, and a communications tool. So we're providing real-time situational awareness to the theater of operations that we're working in so that any person that's participating based on their privileges, whether it be jurisdiction or functionality, has the opportunity to manage in their particular role. Our EMA or emergency management products are all based on the ICS protocol. Our hospital and healthcare products are based on the HICS protocol. Uh, healthcare incident command. Uh, <clears throat> you can see we're all web-based, very easy to use. Our products are, are accessible on all the mobile devices. And uh, here we're looking at a status board and what this is telling me is any open incidents that happen to be going on in the particular deployment that we're looking at. In this particular deployment, this is a state deployment for the uh, Pennsylvania Emergency Management Agency. So we're seeing uh, information and incidents, live incidents from uh, across the entire uh, state of, the, uh, of, of Pennsylvania. Uh, Part of our part of our deployment, uh, uh, we integrate an Esri map solution. Uh, we believe that the geospatial part of our product is is equally as important as the tabular and and data part of it. But so we we have your typical Esri map for those of you who are, who are uh, uh, familiar with that. We uh, utilize all of their standard tools for for. Uh, building layers, serving up layers from other deployments from within. What we're looking at here is the, the Texaco stars, as we call them. Those are all open incidents from in the map. With the tools up here, I can also bring in other layers, such as showing uh, uh, resources that might be uh, located around any of the particular uh, incidents that are going on. Uh, we can, we can uh, bring in uh, plume modeling uh, for hazmat spills and things like that. So it's fully functional and fully integrated. And you can drill down from the map to see what's going on in a particular incident. So here we're seeing missing person search. This is actually going on. Uh, and um, it's, it's, it's kind of in the eastern part of the state. Now, if I want to drill down and see more information about that, I would just click on that particular incident, and then you get back into the other part of our program where you get a, a second set of toolbars, and these are tools that allow you to actually manage the incident. I can do this, like I said, from any mobile device as well because it's all web-based. Here we're seeing information that describes the incident uh, as I go across the top, we have planning tools. We have all the ICS forms built in so that they self-generate. Uh, one of the key features that, that gets used uh, very heavily in our products is the logging capability. And what that does is that allows you to track everything that happens in an incident. <clears throat> so. As you see here, uh, we can enter manual logs anytime you do anything in the system. It also tracks it. It automatically generates. Uh, we, we have an integration strategy where we integrate into other products as well, such as in a 911 center, the CAD systems, uh, mass notification systems, camera systems for Department of Transportation or uh, a facility or what have you. So we bring in a lot of information into Knowledge Center to allow you to have kind of a virtual EOC on your desktop. A lot of our 
user base is, or they're very mobile, so this gives you the ability to have all that information at your fingertips to be making decisions and what have you. One of the other things that we're doing is our next generation product is what we're calling a KC Plus. And uh, uh, we have partnered with General Dynamics to bring in some of their visualization technology and analytics technology. Here's an example of what the visualization can look like. Uh, this is a training system, so the information that you're seeing is, is, is just information for demoing purposes. But what this does is it gives you what we call an executive dashboard so that when you walk into the EOC, if you look at these separate topics, and we call them cards, and we can, we've come up with a color scheme with working with our customer base. Uh, one thing I'd like to add is that our customer base drives a lot of the future development, resources, enhancements to our products, so we're very in tune with our customer. <clears throat> but here we came up with a color scheme that if it's green, everything is okay. If it's yellow, it's either trending green or good or red or bad, and if it's red, then you have problems and you have to be tracking that. So whenever I look at one of the cards, if I look at my CIKR, my critical infrastructure, and I see power outages, and I want to find out more information about that, I can then come down and click on this link. <clears throat> and it brings up some information that, that allows me to see what's going on. So again, we're using a geospatial visualization. This is our Esri map. I can drill down into this to see what's going on if I need a closer look and so on and so forth. Here I can see what's going on in particular, okay, this particular hospital uh, is on uh, 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 generated power. I get a little bit of analytics here, and then if I, can, if I need to drill down on any one of the particular facilities, I can click down there, so it kind of gives you another view of it. So it gives you the high-level view, then we can drill down in and start to see what's going on, and then we can go back into our, our incident if we need to be uh, doing things further than that. Uh, in addition to that, we have the ability to totally manage all of your resources from resource requests uh, even into mission tasking and tracking. Uh, obviously the difference is a resource is I need a generator and uh, I, I find out who has one within the system. We send out a, gen we send out a, uh, uh, a, a resource request and then we either get a, a response back that, hey, I got a generator that I can share with you. It all gets tracked in our system to mission tracking where you have to evacuate the hospital, for example. Well, that's the, that's the high-level mission, but to do that, I need to get transportation. I need uh, certain types of uh, medical uh, ambulance services or a uh, medevac or then I need to, I, I, I need like five or six or ten tasks to complete that mission and we have that ability to track all of that and then tie it all back to the incident so it gets managed. So that's kind of basically in a nutshell what we do. We've adapted and embraced the, in, the integration strategy that I talked about because we feel that's important to bring information from with outside of Knowledge Center in via the cameras, via uh, 911 CAD centers or, or CAD uh, uh, systems, or launching mass notification uh, uh, messages from within Knowledge Center, so we integrate with all of those kinds of products.